Good afternoon, my name is Maher Lewis and today I'm going to show you a, a bug in Civil 3D or maybe just a uh, user input error uh, in Civil 3D. Um, whenever you have an alignment object model that you want to add labels to, it's good idea to check all the labels because it's possible that you could have by a by yourself or or something a user uh, may have inputted something incorrectly and I'm going to show you something that I um, that I was brought something that was brought to my attention by an engineer uh, about some station labels and uh, I'm going to show you how to solve it uh, right now so I've already got the and um, here, here we have an alignment, and it's just one alignment. It's called main extg mp twenty five to eighty five, and you can see here is a station twelve twenty four plus zero zero, and twelve twenty three plus a pair. But you have this one station here. This that's neither nor and it's it's odd because if you try to for example if you try to change the uh, properties of this alignment for example and you you click you click here for example and you say hit okay you know these numbers will, will move or change but this number for whatever reason stays the same 12.79 whatever so here's a solution. What you do is you delete uh, whatever's causing it. And in this case, it's a curve. So right here, you take right this curve. OK. So now the alignment is in sequence. You can see here. 12.23 in a pair, 12.31 in a pair, and so on and so forth. But once you get to this PI, you'll see here, there it is again. That's not good enough. That's not good. So what I do is you generate these PI scratch line work at, at, at the PI and then at the beginning of the alignment right here okay you delete this piece of the alignment you create a new PI someplace here for example so there now you have this new PI and you can see the station looks more logical. Here's 12.26 in a pair. Here's 12.25 in a pair. And then you have this PI is 12.25.56.34. OK? First thing I do is I grip this point here. And I'm going to zoom to the end of this line. Okay. So now what I did is I stretched that point to this this uh, scratch line work. Okay. And then what I do is I grab it again, and I grab the triangle, which is the PI. I bring it over here. Okay. So now the alignment doesn't have any anomalies. The PI is logical. Here's 20, 2257 in a pair. There's 121256 in a pair. And there's 1256-5379. Okay, so now everything looks good. And now I can actually add in a spiral here and or a curve or whatever. And that pretty much ends this demonstration.
I hope you learned something about anomalies and the labels of the alignment object model. Thank you for watching.